Wait, you do animal research? Which means like what? You put lipstick on gerbils and give monkeys PTSD? Hold on, let me think. Um, no, I don't think I've ever done that my entire life. Ever, but good guess. Every time I mention animal research, people look at me like I'm some evil Disney villain. Like I'm somewhere in a dank, dark, dingy lab whispering to myself, Yes. Soon the ferrets shall fear me. But for real, do you like antibiotics? Anesthesia maybe? That antidepressant that kept you from breaking down in the Trader Joe's parking lot? Yeah, those all exist because of animal research. Animals give us control over variables that we couldn't otherwise ethically touch in humans, like isolating how the amygdala communicates with other regions of the brain. Thanks to new techniques, we can temporarily silence the amygdala in monkeys and map out the ripple effects that occurs throughout the rest of the brain. Insight that we literally cannot obtain through human MRI alone. Look, no one is pretending this is Disneyland. We draw blood, we run behavioral tests, we sometimes even do surgery, but we never do it recklessly. Research teams follow strict laws and ethical review boards like IACUC, the Institutional Animal Care and Use Committee, and in this way, animal welfare is literally baked into the science itself. Plus, let's talk reality, not doing research has consequences too. Alzheimer's, cancer, Parkinson's, millions more suffer if we delay treatments by decades just to feel better about the process. Take metformin. Used for diabetes, now being studied for aging, in mice and worms, yes worms, we found it extends lifespan, improves vitality, and even reduces cataracts. And the best part, the worms didn't file a lawsuit. Your Honor. I object to this testing and demand dirt of the highest quality as restitution. Or take cancer. Dogs get cancer just like humans do, and we're developing drugs like Kinevet and Ebat that help both species. Why? Because a tumor doesn't care if you have four legs or two. And don't forget Parkinson's from L-Dopa. To monoamine oxidase inhibitors, a lot of the current therapies are developed from years of careful animal research. As a neuroscientist and a student, I don't take animal research lightly, but just like that honey butter biscuit that you just got from Whataburger cost a chicken its life, these discoveries cost something too. The difference is, this cost could save millions of lives. So the next time you hear somebody say, 